A mentor is someone who helps us achieve our goals. They encourage us to strive for success in the classroom as well as our careers. Counseling psychology professor Rachel Navarro is here to talk about the rewards of being a mentor through her research with minority communities. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. Okay, to start it off, how did you become interested in this field of research? Really, I, was, I became interested because it's something that is kind of dear, uh, dear to me in terms of my own experience being somebody from a multi-ethnic background and mm -hmm. going to college and running into different kind of barriers um, and finding people that could support me to help me through um, my educational pursuits. Okay, well you talk about your own culture. How did your own cultural background influence your academic pursuits? I think being um, a multiracial person and being somebody who um, came from both a Czechoslovakian background and a Puerto Rican background was really interesting to other people and so I started becoming kind of, kind of interested in that aspect of my life and how that affects academic success and so then interested in how other people's experiences um, in terms of being multiracial or from other oppressed cultural groups and how they um, experience the academic environment. Okay, so kind of redirecting back to your own research, what mm -hmm. are the cultural variables you are studying? Um, I'm studying a slew of cultural variables, um, mainly like ethnic identity, um, acculturation, um, enculturation, cultural values such as uh, personalismo, feminismo, those sorts of things mm -hmm. within predominantly um, Latino groups. Mm -hmm. What is the focus of your research? I am looking at um, the persistence of Latinos and whites in STEM fields like science, technology, engineering, and math, and right now really focusing on engineering and how cultural variables and personal variables as well as social cognitive variables influence persistence in engineering mm -hmm. fields. Well, in America, we do have a lot of people with ethnic cultures. We have Norwegians, mm -hmm. and you're saying Czechoslovakian. What minority group in particular do you focus your research on? Most of my research, like I said, is really with Latinos, um, the primarily with Mexican Americans. I've spent a lot of time in the Southwest where there's a predominantly Mexican American um, community, and so a lot of my research has been done there. Mm -hmm. What is the process of your research? How do you actually meet with a student and you collect your data? Uh, we do both quantitative and qualitative research, and so we do a lot of um, online surveys of the engineering students right now and then we call them and ask them to come and do like one-on-one -on -one interviews with some of our research assistants around their experiences within engineering. Mm -hmm. Well I can only imagine the close bond you create with the students that you mentor. You know what kind of re uh, relationship do you have with them? How close do you get with them? Um, fairly close. I, one of the values that I hold really dear is personally small and having a real personal yet professional relationship with my students and so really getting to know them as people and what their needs are as people as well as what their needs are professionally and being able to provide them the kind of support that they need to uh, pursue the kind of careers that they want to pursue in the future. Mm -hmm. And so I have a handful of students that I feel really very close to and have been able to help in terms of their success in the field. Mm -hmm. Could you give me an example of a student that has been successful, which you have mentored? Oh, sure. sure. <laughs> um, I actually have uh, one in mind who actually has uh, graduated. Her name is Dr. Cynthia Guzman. She's actually in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and she's um, a postdoc, and she's working on the Laguna Pueblo. I think it's the Laguna Pueblo. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's doing a lot of work with the Native community there and doing a lot of um, mental health counseling, but also helping that community in terms of getting grants to help support some of the infrastructure there. And so she's done uh, just a fabulous job. Mm -hmm. Well, in your research, you focus really on academic persistence, mm -hmm. so really success in the classroom for grades. But when you think about you know, college, it's a lot more involved in that. So is research just purely on grades or is there any other satisfaction of the college experience that you go on to study? We, we're we looking at both academic persistence in terms of um, their grades and being able to graduate from school but also their academic satisfaction and how satisfied they are with their experiences in terms of their connections with faculty, other peers, um, and just with the environment at the school in general. So with the conclusions of your research, how does cultural identity affect higher education? Well, I think my, my research is still in progress, and so what we're kind of just the preliminary data and what we're seeing is that when you have students from culturally d diverse groups, um, mm -hmm. it, when they are more steeped in their own culture, when they have higher ethnic identities, it seems to translate into a better s sense of who they are and then better, mm -hmm. better academic outcomes. And finally, what is the reward of your job? Why are you so passionate with this? Well, I think that I really want to see my research um, be applied within intervention and prevention programs to help 
students persist in school and so um, having those programs um, be steeped in research um, is mm -hmm. really important to me but also just the mentorship piece of it I think that is where I probably get the most um, joy is being able to work with my doctoral students or my master's students in terms of helping them through the process and seeing what they can do that maybe I can't do in the field in terms of helping um, you know eradicate health disparities and those sorts of things within the Latino community. Okay well good luck with your research and thank you so much for being on the show again. Thanks for having me.